Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Chengdu Airport. Today I'm doing a business class review of the Hainan Airlines flight between Chengdu and Los Angeles International Airport. I have clear Chinese customs, pass security. Now I'm headed to the lounge to show you what that experience is like. I will be traveling on the Boeing 787, again with Hainan Airlines in the configuration of one to one seating. I'm really looking forward to this flight. Got high expectations and I look forward to bringing you on board and sharing this experience with you. Let's go find the lounge. Great view out those windows. Check that out. Might want to grab one of those seats. Okay, I've located a lounge, real simple. It's actually right as you exit security. Security's right down there. As soon as you exit, it's literally straight upstairs and you will be in the lounge. The lounge is shared by a handful of airlines and it's uh, pretty fair. It's really not like uh, one of them super premium lounges that you get in the really big airports, but Chengdu's a kind of a inner China airport that doesn't have the same amount of service as Beijing would, Shanghai, etc. So they have a little bit of food and a little bit of drinks, bar and stuff like that. Nothing crazy, but um, certainly reasonable. Got some wine, looks like. Got some beer. I do see a sign for showers over there. So I love airport showers to try to freshen up, but uh, they don't always have what you would expect a shower to have, like towels. So I'm gonna go find out if I can get in the shower, freshen up, put on a different shirt and um, work for a little bit here in the lounge and head off to the gate for the boarding procedure on the Hainan Airlines flight between Chengdu, China and Los Angeles International Airport. Okay, coming to you from the shower. Uh, this is not the kind of shower you'd be expecting in a proper business class lounge. I would have some form of footwear, just putting it out there. It's gonna work. It beats nothing, but uh, perhaps you guys could uh, just spruce it up a little bit. It is a business class lounge after all, right? Flight time today is probably around 13 hours or so. I can confirm that for you once I find out. I think they have it booked at 14, but generally they shave about a half an hour off of that. So something somewhere between 13 and 14 hours in a one to one configuration on a 787. I expect that to be a very comfortable experience. I have flown on the 787 with Hainan on some other routings before. This is my first time between Chengdu and Los Angeles. It's a fairly new service. Chengdu is kind of becoming this new emerging city. Some of the other airlines started to fly here nonstop and Hainan is really a leader in China amongst the airlines. They have a really great product. You'll be surprised how affordable it is. I hope that this experience helps you make the decision on what airline to choose. There's several options to choose uh, on this routing. I think there's another one in San Francisco as well uh, on some other airlines. I think United flies that. Don't quote me on that, but there's some options to get to the West Coast out of Chengdu nonstop. And Hainan Airlines is a great choice uh, from my experience with them on previous flights. So glad you're joining. Look forward to sharing this experience with you in great detail. Ladies and gentlemen, on my way to board, it's actually really late at night here. It's almost 11 o'clock at night in China, so it's a bit dark, low lighting. I'm not quite sure how the service is gonna start out with us uh, departing into the night. So we'll see how it goes. Probably will be a dinner service right away. That's my expectation, which will work out great. Then that just leads right into a nice rest. Uh, they have a bed making service at Hainan, which is always nice. Really looking forward to this. Let's get on the 787 and head to Los Angeles. See you next time, China. Hello, welcome this way. Sir, can I offer you something? We have orange juice, grapefruit juice. You also have some uh, peanut butter over there. All right, I'll do the grapefruit juice. Grapefruit juice? I'll just put some peanuts there. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. All right. Hi there. It's man for you. Okay, thank you. It's Roxana. This is Mr. Dimitri, what? right? Your name is Roxana. Yeah. What uh, language is that? It's Romanian. Romania. Okay, I, I'm I'm Ukrainian. I figured I'm out from the, the name. Yeah. But you live in US. Uh, what's that? You live in US. I, I do. Yeah. Nice. I do. I live most of my life in the US. Uh, okay. Do you speak Russian? I do. No, I don't. Just, no. Okay. Just some words. Our languages are They're similar, but you can't understand them, right? Right. <laughs> Thank you. All right. This is off to a great start. Roxana from Romania. 
She's the international flight attendant. I love the seating configuration. One, two, one. It's comfortable. Got my own little cubicle. If you're traveling together in a pair, this right here is going to be a really good option for you. That way you can kind of stay tucked in together. But if you're traveling alone, this is definitely the way to go. Sometimes they have these cubicles, kind of um, basically, these are all the same, but sometimes they also alternate. And you can get one up against the window. They have that on some of their Airbus 330s, but the 787, they have a configuration that's just like this one. And then they have a 222. If you get this one, you have sport. If you get the 222, make sure you're sitting in the aisle over here. That way you can get out without having to climb over somebody. So just a few little trade secrets for you. It's going to be a great flight. I hope that you will enjoy it. Oh, by the way, what was your phone? That's, you know, they're spending the money. They spent $300 on earphones, which is great. You know, they care about us. They care about the user experience. And that really stands out. I've had an opportunity to fly a lot of different airlines in China. And Hainan Airlines is, to me, really, I'm going to call them the Emirates of China. Anybody agree with me on that? Is that a fair assumption? The Emirates of China for Hainan Airlines? What do you guys think of that? Cheers for the fly, guys. All right, so what do we got here? We've got, um, here's what I do is I take my USB cable and I plug it in right here. This is a slow charger, so if you need to charge faster, you can use the outlet right down here, right there. And I usually leave that one for my laptop. This is plenty fast for my phone for quite this long, no problem at all. The remote system is right here. You got light right here. Your uh, earphones get attached right there. Table. What was calling? What else can I tell you? There, right here to the left of me, there's uh, a little compartment that's got your amenities kit in it. Let's have a quick look at this. Socks, eye mask, haha, vulgari uh, lotion and uh, lip balm and uh, towelette. Yeah, refreshing towel. Good job, good call. Intent, the Emirates of China. Anybody phone on Emirates, you guys will know what I'm talking about. Earphones, toothbrush, toothpaste, brush. Yeah, good, right on. And uh, you always keep these after the flight. This will become like your travel kit everywhere you go once you're done. Final Airlines, nice job guys. I'm really, really proud of you so far. Great amenities kit. Disclaimer, I'm not getting paid for this review. 100% freely and voluntarily, and I do it because Hainan does such a great job. Your phone takes mine from Chengdu to Ocean. 12 hours. Hey, the flight's gonna be 12 hours, guys. Doesn't that voice sound like an automated voice that you hear somewhere, or is that just me? Hey, I'm Lucy. My name is Lucy. If you have any question, please call me on the flight. Nice to meet you, Lucy. Thank you. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you, Lucy. Your English is very, very good. Write me a comment below when you watch this video. So I always recommend taking one of these towels and just uh, wiping down your table, your armrests. Yeah, but they, they really clean these things fantastic, but better to get it one extra final pass before that long flight. You know, all kinds of folks travel and just to keep the hygiene level nice and high. I like to kind of just do a general sweep over anywhere that uh, I'm going to be touching. Remote. All that kind of stuff. Tables. Can I take the order? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Are, are you going to be serving right away? Uh, after takeoff. After takeoff? Okay. It's yeah. always, yes. Basically, we have like a uh, more like a stress meal. Okay. And uh, we also have uh, a All right. So I'm going to go for the main. I need something Western. I'll definitely do the beef tenderloin. I've had enough Chinese food last week, so. Would you like some appetizer with Yeah. You? I'll do the smoked fish. The smoked fish, all right. Yeah. Do you want a salad? I do. What type of dressing? We have thousand Thailand vinegar and honey mustard. Uh, how about a vinaigrette? And something to drink? Some wine? 
correct? Yeah, um, I will think I'll go with the red one. Well, we have from Chile and from California. I'll do Chile. If you are sleeping, should I wake you up? Yes, please. All right, thank you. Thank you. Roxanne, are you speaking Chinese? How, how in the world did you learn Mandarin? You've got to be kidding me. That's totally awesome. Good for you. All right. Roxanne, I just can't even ask me, how do I want my steak? I have never been asked by anybody on any airline how I want my steak. I said medium rare. I'll see how it turns out. Usually I'm pretty happy with any kind of a steak on an airplane. It's time for takeoff. All right, guys, let's get some bozes on. Get that uh, noise canceling working nice. You can see that they probably um, sanitized them. Noise canceling, baby. That's what I'm talking about. You know, the entertainment system on this plane is, is incredible. Let me show you this remote. Now that's a remote. I literally got a screen that I can watch here. I could be watching the screen there. I could be watching something here. Multitasking. That's pretty awesome, isn't it? So I could be watching a movie. And I could be watching a flight map. So, for example, I've got a movie on my screen here. I click the little airplane and ask you a question. Would you like to launch this on the main screen or on the handset? So I'm going to go on the handset. So yeah, I'm launching the movie map on this so I know what's going on outside while I'm watching the movie and while I'm going to be eating the medium rare steak. How is that uh, not awesome? Nice job, Hainan. I'm really, really proud of you guys. I think I'm going to officially call you guys and label you the Emirates of China. Take that as a compliment. So this is what's going on outside. And then uh, I'm thinking of putting the, the equalizer too up on the screen. Is that a good movie to watch? I've seen Scott Denzel Washington, which I love that guy. So it's probably a good movie. Anybody else have anything to say about the equalizer too? Yay, nay. Write me something in the comments below. And I'll uh, let you know whether I felt the same way or not. This is, this is unreal. This is like unreal. Got 11 hours and 41 minutes to Los Angeles. If you're doing a flight that long, guys, this is the way to do it. There's so many benefits of flying business class. It might seem like a big expense, but when you start kind of tying it in together, work and, and points and, and being status, double points, triple points, there's so many benefits of it where you're like, okay, and I, I can see why this makes sense. You know, I'll be in comfort for 12 hours versus, uh, well, I shouldn't say, I just, just put it this way, in discomfort for somebody my size, six foot two inches, you kind of want to put your feet somewhere instead of jamming in the seat in front of you for the next 12 hours. Yeah. Forget that. I don't do that on long haul flights, but uh, I have done many, many times. So definitely take into consideration next time you're going international somewhere. And uh, you just weigh the pros and cons. And sometimes you'd be surprised how much it does make sense. Okay, thank you. Over here, the yeah, I'm on it. Yeah, thank you. I'm on top of this game. Pajamas, are you kidding me? Yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and jump into these and just go ahead and get real comfortable before I get too far into my movie before dinner shows up. So let me go ahead and um, get these on, okay? Nice, so soft. What did I ever do to deserve this? 
you know, this is just, I'm just I'm so amazed to be able to experience such an incredible, comfortable, satisfying flight. A brand new set of pajamas. Oh, goodness. Even my size, extra large. I could probably fit in a large, but, you know, PJs, you might as well be extra comfortable. So what do we got? We got a nice little shirt. Not bad at all, huh? Whoa. Talk about some awesome pajamas. <laughs> Hopefully it worked out. A little car that came with the pajamas. Dear passengers, these high quality pajamas are for your comfort. They may be taken home for you to cherish after the flight. We hope you enjoy your flight, H and A. Yes, go ahead. This one is Santa Rita from Chile, 2016. Okay. Would you like to have on these words? Yes, I would. Let me know if it's okay. Okay, all right. It's gonna be just fine. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yo. And finish what I was saying on this card. So, yeah, please cherish your pajamas after the flight. Compliments of Hainan Airlines, the Emirates of China. I am having a lot of fun. Hopefully, you guys can notice that. <laughs> Yeah, I'll take that. Thank you. Ask for you All right, guys, this is pretty sweet. Bed making service. It looks like a very comfortable bed for the next six or seven hours. It's like I found it. I think I'm going to have a cup of coffee. Coffee? Yeah. Do you want milk and sugar, cappuccino, espresso? Um, if I could have um, some milk, no sugar. Milk, no sugar. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. You're welcome. All right, guys. Uh, that was incredibly fast flight. I ended up leaving hell for like six hours, which is uh, the whole idea behind this, right? There's about an hour and a half before landing in LA. So now I'm having kind of a another dinner, I guess. It's going to be around 7 o'clock when we land. So I'm just going to treat it as dinner, but I am going to have a cup of coffee because it's a morning on the other side, right? It's time for a cup of coffee. Can't go without a good cup of coffee, especially on an airplane. I can make espressos, cappuccino, latte. Man, what has happened? This is unbelievable. Hopefully you guys are enjoying this so far. Uh, High Dot Airlines is just off the charts, guys. For China, all the options out of China, a lot of them. This is good.
All right, guys, breakfast or dinner, whatever we're going to call it. Is it maybe a little fruit platter, two cups of coffee. They've been landing in Los Angeles everywhere. This experience has been off the charts. Amazing. What do you guys think of it? How's this look to you guys so far? Pretty doable. You guys, uh, we're an hour from landing. It's time to uh, exit this clothing, get back into my regular clothing. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and take this and cherish my pajamas to remember this amazing flight from Chengdu to Los Angeles. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I think the level of service here is definitely worth your money. Definitely worth your money, probably then some. The meals were amazing. I basically had almost two full course meals. This uh, breakfast or second dinner was amazing. I ate some chicken salad, had another bread basket. The coffee is amazing. You guys make some great coffee. Generally, airline coffee is uh, not great. You guys actually have an espresso machine on board. You know, high on airlines, you guys spend the money. You spend the money and you deliver the result. Look at your cabin staff. They're very professional. Uh, your English is incredible. You've got one very fluent English speaker on board. And your cabin staff manager speaks great uh, English. So you guys amaze me because your concept of thinking and your way of thinking being based in China is very different from the rest of the country. Very, very different uh, mindset, and uh, it's very noticed. So, job well done. Job well done, Hainan. All right, note for the editor. I'm going to try to do this little uh, short thing again, where uh, I return back to my normal attire. <sighs> Feels great. I have some fresh clothes back on me. Uh, the arrival is just uh, 45 minutes away. I'll let you know how that goes. Deep planning collection of my baggage and put a final summary on this experience with Hainan Airlines between Chengdu and Los Angeles Airport. All right, bye-bye, thank you. All right, see you guys, bye-bye, thank you. Bye-bye, see you. All right, that was amazing. That was incredible. You saw how friendly the folks are at Hainan. What an enjoyable experience. Now it's time to go fetch my bags, clear customs, and uh, head on another flight back home. I've actually got another domestic flight up to Anchorage, Alaska, five hours. I'll be missing Hainan Airlines. I'm sure I'll be back in the future. Guys, write me a comment below. Let me know what you think, any questions you have, uh, something that I may have missed. Go ahead and point it out. Let me know. Be happy to respond to your comments, questions, concerns, you name it. Looks like all the uh, Asian carriers are here. Eva, Air China, heading down into the dungeon. I wonder how long this is gonna take. Catch a bus to the customs terminal. Oh, there's our airplane right there. Check out that beauty. A beautiful plane. Gentlemen, that is going to be it. Bags came out very quickly, cleared customs very quickly. And that's going to conclude my business class review between Chengdu and Los Angeles. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Can't wait to read your comments below. If you haven't subscribed already, hit that subscribe button to be notified when my next video is posted. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Take care.